warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello, welcome back to online learning Today I'm going to teach you about a known angle Okay guys, before we start our lesson today Ustada will remind you about the symbol of angle The symbol of angle is like this It's different and not similar with less than symbol Can you write it? Yeah, I think all of you can write it Okay, let's start our lesson today Let's check this out Okay guys, let's see about how to read the angle Look at the picture The picture show about the angle There are two lines PC and BD And the corner is B If you want to write the angle Write the left side of the corner in the middle For example Angle DEC And B in the middle of D and C Or you can write Angle C, B, D And B in the middle of C and D Look at the picture An angle is A, B, D on 125 degrees I want to change the angles become 180 degrees According to you, how much angles should we add? There are four choices, and you must try one by one to get the answer. Let's try it. If you want to answer this problem, you must know about 180 degrees angle. Yesterday, you studied about polar rotation. And the shape of polar rotation is circle. And now you must know about 180 degrees angle. Take the picture. The picture is the line AC. AC is a straight line. And let's measure how many degrees from AC. Yes, yeah, that's good. AC is 180 degrees So, a straight line is 180 degrees angle Let's check one by one from the choice From the question, the angles are 125 degrees Next angle 30 degrees using perfect top. Four. Next, right line BC. Measure with perfect top 30 degrees. And then give letter D on the line. Next, let's combine the two angles and measure it 125 degrees at 30 degrees yeah that's good the result is 155 and next the line and find C on the line the result is not 180 degrees but 155 degrees so the choice of A is incorrect okay let's check the choice of B 35 degrees from the question the angles are 125 degrees And then make angle 35 degrees using protector. First, make straight line PC and then measure with protector 35 degrees.
Next, let's combine the two angles. 125 degrees at 35 degrees. And the results are 160 degrees. It's not 180 degrees. So the choice of D is incorrect. Let's check the choice of C, 45 degrees. The step to check the choice of C is same with choice of A and B. First, you must make an angle of 45 degrees using perfect part. Make a straight line and measure with perfect torque 45 degrees. And then combine two of the angles. One hundred and twenty five degrees at forty five degrees. That's cool. The results are one hundred and seventy degrees. Okay, guys. The results are one hundred and seventy degrees. It's not one hundred and eighty degrees. So the choice of C is incorrect. The last let's check the choice of D, 55 degrees. The step to check the choice of D is same with the choice of A, B, and C. First, you must make an angle 55 degrees and measure with perfect torque. And then combine two angles of 125 degrees and 55 degrees. Yes, that's good. Look at the picture. The results are 180. And it means the choice of D is correct because 180 degrees is straight line. After we check one by one from the choice, which answer do you choose? Yes, that's good. The correct answer is D, 55 degrees. Can you mention the conclusion then? The conclusion is you want to make 125 degrees angle become 180 degrees angle. You must combine the angle with 55 degrees. It's so easy, guys. Is it right? The other has a quiz. You can draw the angle on your book. And don't forget to copy your answer in edit. Only write your answer in edit and give your reason why do you choose your answer. So if you guys have been nothing. Okay guys, that's all our material today. It's so easy, is it right? So they give you exercise and you can do on your book and then you can copy your answer in Adobe. See you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.